are the perennial debate. Which one's better? Godless heathen communist garbage gun versus all-American apple pie AR-15. <laughs> now, you'll see this debate play out all over the internet. Uh, internet forum commandos and bullshit YouTube videos. It's a perennial favorite. So, this being recall, of course, we're going to do things a little bit different. And we're going to find out which one's better side by side underwater. And to do that, I've got my good buddy and neighbor, Mark Plowman from Commercial Divers International, one of the very few dive schools in the US that's going to allow us to do this. Now, this is not your typical scuba outfit. So Mark, why don't you run us through what the gear we're gonna be using. All right, perfect, Ian. So today, Ian's gonna be diving a Kirby Morgan helmet. This is a surface supply diving. Like he says, we're not doing scuba diving around here. We have endless amounts of air. We got compressors running on top side. Also with this, we're gonna be able to hear everything that Ian's saying underwater the whole time. We have a rack box we're running everything through back here. Um, so anytime Ian's down there talking, we can talk to him. He can talk back with us the entire time. Um, so it'll be pretty interesting. We'll see how this goes. All right, well, I'm gonna get suited and booted. We're gonna get these guns in the water and you guys are gonna see how they perform. Just getting ready to get in the tank now. I'm gonna throw a tank on for emergencies. A little bit of emergency air supply. And then I'm gonna throw the hat on and then we're good to go. Cool. Yeah, that better? Yeah, way better. All right, remember this one right here. Yeah. That's the one that you want, all right? I'm gonna cam you up now.
Well, dude, I gotta tell you, shooting these guns underwater was pretty intense. It was like getting punched in the face every time I let a round off. What did it look, what did it look like from up here? If you felt that bad down there, I felt it up here, so I know it had to have been worse down there. <laughs> the, literally, the whole walls were shaking every time you fired around. <laughs> well, I think we settled the, uh, the argument as to which one's better underwater, and the answer is, of course, neither of them. Uh, and the reason being that I took uh, great pains to make sure that the, both the gas system and the barrel were filled up with water. So what that did was create a massive overpressure situation. And you can see just from the AK rounds here, now, obviously I can't show you the AR rounds because it's still stuck in the chamber, but that AK round is bulged to hell and back. And the only reason this didn't let go is that it, is, this is a steel case rather than it being a brass case. If it had been a brass case, it probably would have blown the magazine out the same as the AR did. Now, I strongly suspect that we've got an, um, an excessive headspace situation created by that overpressure now in the AK. And we definitely have a split case and probably the extractor wedged into the barrel extension in the AR. So if you guys do want to shoot guns underwater, what's your advice? I'd say come to Commercial Divers International. I'd probably bring a knife next time though. <laughs>